Hey y'all, hey, what's up? It's your girl TG. I just wanted to come on here to first say um, hi to everybody. I know it's been a while. Y'all, I'm not even gonna make promises on how often I'm gonna come on here no more because I think that I'm gonna come on here one day and then life happens and, and I don't get on here. So I apologize for that. Um, but I did wanna come on here. Today um, is kind of a... a weird day for me. I don't necessarily want to label it as difficult, um, but it is weird. Today is the one year anniversary of my mother's passing. And I just wanted to do something to honor her um, because she was she was definitely proud of all of her girls. Um, we all do different stuff. We have different talents, different thought processes, but she really supported each of us in our own way. And she definitely supported me in my ministry and me in um, just helping people and, and talking with people. So I wanted to honor her uh, with that. Um, so today I want to talk about grief and loss. I know, why on earth would I wanna talk about that? Well, hello, I just said it. Um, but I wanted to talk about it because I realized that I'm not the only one that deals with grief and loss. Those of us that have actually lost someone to death are not the only ones that deal with grief and loss, um, but it happens so often. And I think, I think far too often we push it to the side, we don't recognize it, and we don't really give space to those who are maybe suffering. A few things that um, can cause us to feel grief and loss would be things such as um, divorce or a relationship breakup, how many have been there before, loss of health, uh, losing a job, loss of financial stability, a miscarriage, retirement, a death of a pet, loss of a cherished dream, loss of love, uh, um, sorry, a loved one's serious illness, loss of a friendship, whether that be the friendship moving away, whether it be the friendship completely dissipating, but loss of a friendship, loss of safety after trauma, and also selling of a home, so a family home especially. These things can cause us to begin to feel grief and loss. They can cause us to feel headaches. They can cause us to feel um, uncomfortable. They can cause us to feel nervous. They can cause us to be snappy. They can cause us to feel depression, anxiety. Um, they can cause us to isolate and anything in between. So before I go into the stages of grief and loss, I wanna say that if you or if you know somebody that is dealing with these different um, symptoms and emotions, first I wanna say just love on that individual. Um, show them love, show them compassion. It is not easy to lose anything. Let's be real. None of us want to lose anything. But show them love, but also give them permission and or give yourself permission to be able to go through these um, phases. And the Kubler-Ross uh, grief cycle, there are um, denial, anger, bargaining, depression, and acceptance. It is okay for us to be in denial about certain situations. It is okay for us to be angry. It is okay for us to bargain. You know, if you do this and I'll do this, or God let, you know, only if this, ha if this happens, I'll do this, or whatever the case may be. Those are all things that are, are normal. Um, even feeling sad about it. Those are all things that are normal, however, I challenge you to not stay there. That's when the normalcy changes, when we stay in a denial phase or when we stay in an anger phase or when we stay in a sad phase and it turns to depression or anxiety or suicidal thoughts or things of that nature. That is when I would challenge you to seek help. Um, seeking help is not wrong. Seeking help doesn't make you weak. It actually makes you strong. Um, it, it, put you at a place where you you know that you're not alone and somebody can support you in those things that you're going through. So I challenge you to seek that help. Um, 
those of you that know me know I have said it a thousand times and I will continue to say it a thousand times. I am here for you. If you need to send me a message, if you need to respond to this, whether you're watching on YouTube, whether you're watching on Winx, whether you are watching on Facebook, send me a message. Yes, I am a busy person. However, I will take time out of my day to respond to you. I will take time out of my day to make sure that you are okay and that you are good and that you are stable. So I just wanted to leave you with that. Grief and loss is a real thing, um, but there is help out there. There are people there to support you and it is okay. It is okay for you to feel how you feel, um, but I challenge you to not stay there. I love you with the love of the Lord. I pray that you have an awesome and an amazing day, an awesome and an amazing weekend, um, and we will get through this. I have a great pastor that says all the time, we are greater together. We are. So let's unite together. Let's, let's bond together to be able to support our brothers and sisters that are going through whatever they're going through. Be blessed. I love you all and take care. Peace.